the freight tip. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, we're working with the V-Show hair today. Today's hair is the Malaysian straight transparent lace front wig and I have it in 22 inches. And y'all already know first impressions are everything. So if this company, whatever company you guys are shopping with and their packaging sucks, that's usually telling you right there if the hair is gonna suck. And I just wanted to show y'all how well this hair was packaged with the bubble wrap. Okay. and then a sleek black box and then in the box you have the hair and the plastic bag of course and it comes with a wig cap as well as some instructions on how to take care of the hair so on and so on okay and they do have some coupons going on right now so y'all make sure y'all check that out so first impressions on the wig itself this wig has four combs it has a three behind the frontal and one in the back. You also have your transparent lace in the front and a little bit of transparent lace in the back along with adjustable straps. And you guys can see this hairline is bomb.com, honey, okay? It is pre-plugged along the entire hairline. So for you beginners out there, this is the real tea. All this that I'm talking about you guys basically means what you really have to do is just put the wig on and apply your adhesive literally and this clip right here I'm just showing you guys how the wig looks in total now this wig came thin and I believe this is in 130 density and you guys know I don't do long wigs if it ain't 100, 180 and above so that's why I decided to do this transformation video and I'm about to cut this baby okay and another up close of this transparent lace. I love transparent lace. Probably one of the best lace besides HD out there. So let's go ahead and get right into why you guys came to this video. So I'm going to be using my fairly new shears as well as a rat tail comb just to guide my way through the hair. And the first thing I'm going to do is part the hair down the middle just to get an eyes view of where I want to cut the hair. And then I'm just going to start snip, snip, snipping away. Now, this cutting process was a little difficult because the camera was in the way. So, I couldn't necessarily see what I was doing. <laughs> but I think I did a pretty good job just to say I was, you know, breaking my back trying to see what I was doing in the first place. So, I'm just going to let you guys watch me cut this hair. And I'm going to come back later once I'm done shaping it how I want it.
Okay, guys, I am back. Going back to the beginning, I didn't know if you guys had noticed, but these knots are super dark. So, you already know, I'm about to go ahead and bleach these things, okay? So, the bleach I'm going to be using today is the Prism Lights. This is probably the best bleach I've probably ever used, and it got the knots looking invisible, okay? And I'm using my 30 volume developer. I got both of these from Sally's. And after I'm done bleaching, I'm just going to wash the hair with neutralizing shampoo as well as a blonde brass banisher tongue twister. And because I'm extra, I'm also going to use the Shimmer Lights Conditioner. That's for blonde and silver hair just to cancel out any orange or yellow and as well as my cholesterol deep conditioner cream so that's a lot but that's what i did and this is how the hair turned out the knots look so good and this is with one bleach if you guys want to get rid of the bleach i mean the knots completely go ahead and bleach the knots twice i only did it once and it looks really really good it looks way better in person the camera is just like girl I'm about to show flaws and all so but that looks really good though compared to how the knots were in the beginning if I want to y'all can go ahead and start plucking out those unbleached knots but I decided not to because usually I don't bleach my knots anyway but it looks really good and if I did see an issue I just added some powder to certain spots of the wig so that's about it and all I did to the bleaching and conditioning and now I'm showing you guys the natural color of the wig now take in mind this natural brown color very beautiful and I'm going to show you guys how this hair took to this hair color I'm using the hair color I'm using is the L'Oreal high color I didn't notice that this hair color said blacks for dark hair only so the hair color I thought I was going to get was totally different than what I actually got but this is the black plum so you guys will see what I'm talking about later on but I just wanted to show you guys how I set up my mannequin head I have plastic over it because I don't want to get it too dirty then I put on some plastic gloves to keep from dyeing my hands and I'm just going to show you guys how the hair color looks once it's mixed together with the developer. When you're working with L'Oreal High Colors, the concept of the hair color is that you don't need any bleach. Now I'm just going to be showing you guys what this hair color looks right out of the box. You guys see it's like a pale yellow or off-white color. And I'm giving you some aesthetics again <laughs> but then you guys are going to see what this turns into a little after it oxidizes super cool now y'all can kind of see once i start mixing the developer in with the color it's turning it like a pale pink salmon color but y'all see that this hair color starts to get darker as time goes on i'm not using any brushes or anything to get the color color get the color onto the hair i'm just using my hands just to lather up the hair in this color and i will be using a rat tail comb to comb through it later on but mostly just using my hands and slapping that color on there. Now y'all see right there is why I should have pinned the lace down. Because now that the lace isn't pinned down, I'm going to have to pick the wig up, hold the wig with my colored gloves. And the color is going to get into the lace and it's just a mess. So don't make that mistake. Y'all pin your lace down to your mannequin head so the lace doesn't get dyed, okay?
I left this hair color on the hair for about 30 to 45 minutes. What the box said, I read the instructions. Well, the directions at least. I didn't read the front, but I read the back. It's irony. But this is how the color looks once it oxidizes. I'm going to explain the hair color in the end. It didn't turn out how I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a reddish purple color. But y'all see how it looks in the end. Okay. And I just went ahead and rinsed out this color until the water stopped turning red. And to set my hair once it air dried was my Lotta Body Foaming Mousse and my Garnier Fructis anti frizz Serum. Okay, you guys. So this is how the hair turned out right here. It is bomb like I haven't done a bob in so long and I'm loving it. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you guys know that these shows bobs, like most of their bobs, I've tried their water wave bob and I just cut this hair into a bob and it looks so freaking natural, you guys. And I love the transparent lace. It was not that hard to blend. I didn't pluck it or anything. So y'all go get this bob is under $80 if you guys get it in 22 inches it's going to be some more but if you guys would have just got it as a bob in the first place it's going to be on $80 but the whole point of this video was just a hair transformation if you guys are going to get a bob make sure you guys get it 130 density so it's not too thick and if you get inches longer than 20 make sure you get 180 and above Unfortunately, I did not catch the sun to be able to catch the hair color, but I promise you guys in the bright sun, you can see some of that red, but I just hate that you can't see it on camera. It's like, it's like tinted red. It's not necessarily like a red that I thought it was going to be, but if you guys try that color, it's definitely going to dye it more black than a red. And one more thing before I go, let me know if you guys like transformation videos instead of just regular hair videos. And then I can do like update hair reviews later on once I've worn the hair often. So you guys let me know about thumbsing up this video and commenting bears in the comment section. Comment some bear emojis because of my cute little jacket here. And then you guys will let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye you guys.